Hello everybody, this is Leovac, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this level. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tackle the Lost World level. I do not like this level at all. It's clobber carnage. Um, by the way, the guys in the barrels, those are clobbers. That's what their name turns out to be. That's all of them. All varieties, they're all just clobbers. Ah. I'm getting off to a great start with this level, aren't I? Um. <clears throat> the reason I don't like the level isn't because of the clobbers. It's because of some... Because of the gimmick they decided to bring back that, for some reason, I swear to you... Th yeah, this gimmick is what I don't like. I swear to you, in the other versions I've played it, I've been able to control the the uh, direction of the turns and when th and when they turn exactly. I've had no problem with that in any other version I've played. It was up until I played this on an emulator that I started doing that. I don't even know why it does that. Now, of course, I'm just freaking crazy nuts and insane, so... <sighs> Listen to me rant. Uh, I have bet I, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys want to hear me, hear more than just me rant all day. And of course, me fail is part of it, is part of something you want to see. Uh, like I said, I'm, I will say this, I'm surprised this area isn't a water area considering its positioning on the on the Lost World map. This kind of seems strange, that, and it kind of seems strange they wouldn't have water area considering they try to put in, like, one of each area. I mean, they have, like, a fire area, they have a bramble area, well, kind of. They have a bramble segment of an area. And then they have two jungle areas, both of which are unique to the to the lost world only I mean no the world has a uh, has a, a jungle segment so yeah um so yeah <laughs> just kind of a little ah confused there oh woo saved myself there Oh, God saved anyway. Um. No, you don't like that sec that section. Fortunately, I know way I uh, cheat around it, quote so to, so to speak. Ah. And here we have the TNT guys. I think you've seen them earlier, but we they blow up. That's what they do. They're like all they're like the other clobbers, except they blow up. And there. Okay, come on. And I'm gonna need to... There. There. Okay. Ouch. Okay, good. We got our Kong back. <coughs> and of course, we end up losing it right there, too. Ah. Uh. Okay, no tricks or holes. I'm just going to toss him somewhere. I really don't care about him. Ah, come on. No! Ah! <sighs> Guess I'll meet, I, I'll meet you guys back in that area. Okay, so I'm back. Um, uh, okay, so I'm going to have to use save states on this. Because... As it turns out, I was right that in the regular versions, the barrels don't move on their own. Period. It's just... It's just the most ogboggling thing why this... I mean, I know this is an emulator and all that, but still... I'm going to go ahead and save right there, so... Ah. Uh, well... Okay, 
So, anyway. Ah, keep messing up. Ah, don't want to lose any of my Kongs during this whole thing, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a sacrifice at least. Damn it! Hope you guys know that this is what I've been going through. Um, basically, I can't get through this area, and now the thing's gone, isn't it? Yeah. And that barrel vanishes. Oh my gosh, the G barrel vanishes if it goes off screen. Ah, no! Ah! Well. So. This is something I really hoped not to do, but I'm having to not only cut the video more out, I'm also having to use save states to get through this damn thing. All because the barrels don't want to work the way they were supposed to. Ah! I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get through this level here. But yeah, the barrels aren't supposed to move. You're supposed to move them on your own on your own accord. It's just... This is messed up here. I don't know why... Ah... Okay, and we're back. I'm sorry the au I'm sorry that the audio messed up, but oh well. Um, we're gonna just go ahead and do the boss, King Zingsting. Fortunately, he is a lot easier than that last level. We won't be using any more save states from here on forward. So yeah. Um, okay, so the so his weak point is is his stinger. Basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit his stinger. Um, after two hits, he goes completely red and starts shooting a volley of uh, spikes at you. And then he goes back to normal. I believe there's some other segments you want to watch out for. Um, my suggestions: try to get him. He's Try to get him from behind. That's your best chance of hitting the stingers. There we go. Um, this is probably going to end up being a pretty long boss battle because this is a very difficult fight to do just for the fact that you have to hit him in the stinger. And it has to be, like, perfect. Okay. Ah! Okay, so... Um... Ah, uh, I don't know what to do about this. 
Um, yeah, I guess I'll give it one more try, and then if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't work, I'll uh, I'll skip to the part where that, where to the part times where it does, and I'll probably post commentate that part just uh, cause that last level just really grinded me the wrong way. I mean, I I I assure you, it is nowhere near that hard on the on the SNES. Just for some reason, this ROM is screwed up like that. Um, I'm gonna suggest you guys seek out the actual versions, the legitimate copies, because while this one, yes, it is free. I'm going to tell you this right now, emulators are prone to glitches, way more than the standard software. Hey, I did that, I did it, yay, okay. So, this phase, basically, you knock out his shield and then, hits, and then hit his uh, small form. Knock out his B shield, then hit his small form a couple times, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. Thank goodness I don't have to post commentate. Okay. So yeah. Whew. This was a task. So with that, we open up Gloomy Gulch. And I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I will see you guys later.